Recently, while I've been wandering the streets, sometimes I catch myself checking out what people are wearing. Seeing if I like it, seeing if it would suit me. Quite a lot of the time being like, oh, I wonder where they got that. But also, I see a fair few people where I'm just like, I don't get it. Why are you wearing that? I mean, this video is going to show my complete lack of style. But I just really un struggle to understand why people spend thousands of pounds on an outfit. When for me, I would go on holiday. So, I mean, the jumper just says Fortnite. So I looked through some of these luxury brand websites over the last few days and pulled together some looks, some items that I think would interest people. So I'm going to challenge my friends, to see if they can figure out how much each of these things costs. I'm surprised you managed to book me, to be honest, because, you know, my, my agent's been trying to sort me out for an empire. Booked out, booked out. Uh, so we'll start with Link One. Link One is a look from Gucci, look 83. Well, it's like a jockey. I refer to it as it's a horse rider who's decided to pop into Tesco and has brought their bag for life. <laughs> I want you to have a, a stab at how much this this whole look costs. So that is everything the, they're everything wearing. Everything included. Even like the helmet slash like medieval <laughs> BDSM hat. cap. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Oh, do you know what? I don't know. Them, them boots are like they're higher tier boots, you know. Like I, okay. could, I could see them going for a lot. Do, does the bag include as well, I guess? Yeah. The bag is included. Bag for life. Mm, yeah, I mean, that's not really going to change my answer too much, but I thought I'd uh, just make sure that the, <laughs> the rules understood. Uh, well, the, the bag for life, I mean, it is Gucci, so that's probably going to be like, what? We, we say 10p for, for a carrier bag, don't we? That's probably, what, like, grand? Everything else is probably in the thousands, I'm guessing, with it being Gucci. Um, even, like the, the, like, the plain white shirt he's wearing as well. Yeah. Okay. All right. So if if I saw this on a mannequin in a shop, right, I'm saying the whole look is about a grand in my opinion. Oh, I would not be surprised if this whole outfit is something like eight thousand. The whole look is twelve thousand seven hundred and sixty-five pounds. <laughs> no, it's not. It's surely twelve thousand pound. Let's dive into link two, which I think's the female counterpart. Oh fucking hell. So this is Mr. and Mrs. both walking into Tesco. <laughs> I actually think this is a lot, a lot more. Even without the rings, this looks... Oh, actually, I don't know. Is that a one piece she's got on there? That's not like a top and trousers. That's like a... Is that it's like a, a one top suit? and shorts. Oh, no, it is. Okay. Mm. I can't really decide if they look like horse riders or like they're going to medieval battle. Like, <laughs> I feel like this hat just doesn't, doesn't really like... hasn't picked what it wants to do yet. My assumption is because it's women's fashion... It's more expensive already than men's fashion. The fact that she's got a lot of bling on her hand as well. Whole outfit for this one, including the rings. 15 grand. If that was 12,000, I'm going to say at least this is about 21,000 pounds. I'm going on an off number just because I feel like it won't round up exactly. It was 10,000. It's still somewhat affordable, I guess. It's it's not exactly your H&M. I feel like fashion has just gone to such a way now that I just don't know what's going on. Like, That's what I'm saying. Me. I don't understand it. Link three, Louis Vuitton luggage. So yeah, I feel like I should know this because everyone talks about Louis Vuitton bags, but I actually have no idea what this would cost. I'll go with how much I would pay for a bag like this. Maximum. I've seen ones on Amazon very similar for probably a lot cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say about oh, two and a half grand. Maybe around that park. I'm going to go with £100 for the bag. I think you're looking at the fake copies because this goes for £1,650. That is absolutely horrific. That is, but it's such a bog standard bag though. Like A lovely trunk from Louis Vuitton. The dimensions are 110 centimetres by 50 by 50. Thank you. That's, that's going to help me out when you ask me how much it costs. See, I feel like this is going to cost less actually because it's not as practical right like if you have it you have a bag you can take that with you to places right this is just a a, a case or like a box but like i'm not going to take this on the tube or take it on load with me oh yeah yeah size size matters yeah size does matter saying that now though this is probably like more of a status symbol than it is like actually good i'm i'm going with two grand two grand for the, the trunk i have a feeling this one's going to be very expensive I, i'm going to say twenty six thousand, twenty seven thousand, something like that it's thirty two thousand pounds to be graced with this trunk at the end of your bed no way no <laughs> it's one of those things where it's like i would probably wheel this out for someone to like sit on if i didn't have enough seats you know what i mean like <laughs> <laughs> Why am I paying 30 grand for that? <laughs> My car's worth less than that. I think most people's cars are worth less than that. Final 
product, this beautiful round tea box. All right, on first impressions, very nice. I do like tea and coffee and stuff. You pay a little bit more, a bit more premium for that, yeah. Yeah, I'd pay a bit more. And that spoon, I think it's a spoon, looks good. So your guess might be a little bit more accurate this time. I'm excited. Well, all it. right, you say my guess I've been accurate recently. Blimey I mean, on. you've been about 10% <laughs> every time. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're back into the like reasonable prices for some people. Not not for me. My guess is that it's gonna cost around I'm gonna say nine hundred quid. I'm going five grand. This costs eleven thousand three hundred pounds. Cannot believe people pay for this because it is sold out. It's sold out. For eleven grand. Right. That that's that's embarrassing for Louis Vuitton because look at the look at that teapot. Right. That is. There's nothing on it. It's just it's just ceramic white. I can't believe that. There's not even like a branding on it. I mean, I know I said the spoon looks good, but the teapots. You know, sort it out. Like, that is that is a joke. That's actually very like that's actually shocked me because like if you'd said, oh yeah, you're wrong, but it's like two grand, I'd be like, all right, fair enough. Yeah, I'm just on the lower end. But eleven thousand pound is just eleven thousand three hundred. You're missing the three hundred pound there as well, Tom. <laughs> it's even more expensive. Definitely been an eye opener, I guess, with uh, some of these prices. Turn it back onto Yuki. Let me let me send you an image. How much are you thinking that is? So just as in context, it is called. Year of the Tiger cash card case on keyring. Oh yeah, everyone's doing this Year of the Tiger thing. I've seen that. Um, I think that bumps the price of it. I've recently, for Christmas, got the base part of that. I got it from John Lewis for a whopping 20 quid. I'm going to go with adding a zero onto that and go for 200 pounds. The actual cost is 275 pounds. So what have we learned from this video? I think we can uh, quite safely say things are quite expensive from these stores gucci and louis vuitton i probably won't ever be buying from you but feel free to send me some stuff i'll wear it in the next video who knows 2023 might roll around and uh, i might be in gucci with louis vuitton in the background as my youtube channel makes me an absolutely obnoxious influencer i hope you enjoy the video peace